And now the magician has a little bit of sleight of hand using nothing more than a glass top table and this shiny penny. Take a good look at the penny. In fact, never take your eyes off of it. He taps the glass from underneath to prove that it's solid. We could already see that. Next, he taps the top and leaves the penny on the center of the table. With one palm directly below the glass, the magician covers the penny with his other hand. Now watch for the magic. His top hand is removed and we can see that the penny has melted through the glass and is now on his palm. It's not an illusion. It's definitely on the other side of the glass. A cheap trick with a penny that completely baffles the mind. How does the magician make the penny melt through the glass and wind up underneath on his open palm? You know there has to be a simple explanation. Here are the secrets. First, there are two pennies, and they're not even real. They're made of steel. Before the trick begins, the magician palms one of the fake coins in his left hand. He places the other coin on the solid glass table. The next secret involves the ring on his right hand. This ring holds a super strong magnet that is concealed beneath his fingers. That's why the fake pennies are made of steel. They're attracted to the magnet. When he holds the secretly palmed steel coin beneath the glass, he covers it with a magnet, which is powerful enough to attract the steel through the glass. Now that the palmed coin is hidden from view, all he has to do is slide it forward so that it's directly above his open palm. When he lifts his top hand away, the coin that's below the glass drops into his palm. At the same time, the steel coin on top of the table is attracted to the magnet. Take a penny, leave a penny. And that's how he makes it look like the coin passes through the solid glass. <laughs>